What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and what you see here is my chef's elite food marinator. This will run you about $120 guys at Amazon. I'll leave a link in the uh, description. Comes with a meat tenderizer as well as a bonus which is pretty cool. Show you around it. The back. It's really light guys. So this machine claims that it can marinate your food in 15 minutes as if you marinated for overnight. So if it can do that, well, I'm not, I'm not going to give it 15. I'm going to give it like 30 minutes. I'm going to do some chicken wings today, by the way. And we're going to give it 30 minutes and we'll see what it does. If it could do it in 30 minutes, it, take my money. It's great. A 120 is, is nothing because as you guys may not know, but a lot of the stuff that I make, um, I think about making it 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. So obviously I couldn't have marinated overnight. Because I didn't know I was going to make it that night, the night before. So with this machine, no worries. 30 minutes? Heck, even if it was an hour, that's fine. If, if I can marinate something for 30 minutes and it will taste like I marinated overnight, psst, man. So anyway, this is the canister. Very lightweight. It, it doesn't attach. It just goes on top of these wheels that makes it rotate. And, um, and we'll get more into the canister in a second. And then down here, I don't know if you could see, this is your vacuum tool, tube, sorry. Um, and this attaches to the canister on the side, and we'll show you that in a second. And this will vacuum seal uh, the air inside the canister so that um, your food can marinate. I guess that's how the magic is. And then you just store it away. So once, it, once it's um, vacuum sealed, you put it back in here and you close it down. Oh, didn't do a good job at that, but... You just close it down and it's tucked away. Okay, the canister now. All right. So on one side, you have this part and I don't know if you can see it, but you see it says lock and unlock. And I guess this is seal. I'll figure that out. I'm going to breeze through the manual before I get to that, before I get put my, um, before I get to the point of vacuum sealing it, I'll do that. But it's on unlock now, so I should be able, there's an open right here. I should be able to just open it up. Yep, that easy. You just put your meats in there with the, all the sauces or whatever, and then close it back. And then lock it in place. All right. Cord is not too long, not too short either. And I just opened this for, what, 10 minutes, and you, as you can tell, tell, it's a fingerprint magnet, so I'm sure this is, can be easily cleaned. And no, this does not go into the dishwasher, the canister. They recommend you wash it by hand. I've read on Amazon some people did put it in the dishwasher, and it broke it. So that's something that you just don't want to do. You're going to have to wash this by hand. Well, not this part, the canister, this part. No dishwasher. People have tried. did not work. Do not do that. Guys, this machine is straight to the point. It's very easy to operate. I'm going to show you right now. First, we got the power right there. Easy. This is your up and down. Um, I when you turn when you um, after you vacuum seal and you're ready to uh, marinate. I think it the defaults at 15 minutes, but you can use this to go up and down with the times as much as you need. This function button here is to uh, start the vacuum sealing or to start your um, your marinating. And right here is just quick charts. Uh, I guess your meats 15 to 20, like steaks and stuff like that, and fish 5 to 10 minutes, so forth. These don't do anything, it's just a quick chart, quick reference. Speaking of charts guys, let me just tell you now before I forget, when you buy this machine, the manual is not big at all, right? It's not, but they do give you recipes. So that's cool. Let's see if you can better see it. So you, there's a couple pages too. It's not like one. So you're getting, you're being supported here. Let's flip through them real quick. 
quick. Jamaican jerk. Yeah, okay. I might even try that. Jamaican jerk. I didn't see that there before. And then it has, oh yeah, that's it. Then it has best practices and all that stuff. And remember, you cannot put this in the dishwasher, the canister. Speaking of the canister, this thing can roll away on its own. So when not when you're when it's not on the base, it's best to keep it upright like this because it'll roll off and fall. And the problem with that is you don't want to damage this ring right here. And I guess this is why they don't they don't want you to put it in the dishwasher or at least this part for sure. Because if this ring gets messed up, we're done. We won't be able to seal. If we can't seal, then this machine is absolutely useless. So, shout out to my meat market one time. Now, fun fact, this was supposed to come tomorrow. Now, you're going to be watching this video. I'm posting it Tuesday. It's Mon I'm making this Monday, but it's, it's going to post on Tuesday. But it was supposed to come when you're watching it now. So... I was a bit thrown off. I was going to really what I was planning to do was go this evening and pick up some authentic jerk seasoning or jerk paste, should I say, from my Asian market because they have everything, man. So, and I was going to do some jerk chicken, maybe some like leg quarters or like leg, th leg and thighs, something like that and marinate that and really see. But since it's here today and my Giants got their first game today to play the um, Steelers, shout out to Steelers Nations one time. Shout out to all the ladies, Steeler fans. I see y'all. But my Giants has got their first game. And I was going to make some wings not on camera. But since this came, why not? Anyway, enough talking. Going to put some liquid smoke in there. I'm just throwing stuff in there because I want to taste it. I paid $120. We're going to see. Coloring. Smoked paprika. We're almost done, y'all. And by the way, we're going to fry this up in my Ninja Foodie Grill XL. Should be fantastic. And finally, finally, shout out to Jamaican Choice. Let me shake this up. I got some Scotch Bonnet, y'all. Now, this is not as hot as the actual pepper, but it's hot. So I'm just going to pour this, a lot of it on there. And I should be able to taste all of this goodness. I should be able to taste the smoke and the Scotch uh, Bonnet hot sauce um, all the way to the bone of the chicken. That's what I'm assuming. So let me go ahead and mix this up. Oh, yeah. I can smell it from here, y'all. I pop the top, and I'm just going to just dump it right all in there. Now, hold on. I know my gadgeteers are out there and they're saying, Doug, doesn't your vacuum sealer have containers that do this? Yes. Yes, I have them and two problems I have with them. I've, I've done it, but it, it, as far as marinating, I didn't, really, uh, I didn't really notice that much of a difference. And on top of that, it doesn't stay vacuum sealed, these containers, so... And yes, I have vacuum sealer bags, so so Doug, can't you just vacuum seal these for an hour, two hours, and it will be the same as overnight? Wrong. I've done that, and there's a big difference. I've done um, wings that I've seasoned with my go-to, some paprika and applewood, and there's a difference between vacuum sealing them for, I don't know, three, four hours, and then just leaving it overnight in your refrigerator overnight in the refrigerator is much more flavorful so I know the difference now of course vacuum sealing it would be better than doing nothing if you had some if you had to prepare something in two hours and you want to marinate something for an hour it would be better to vacuum seal it in this bag than keeping it you it would you would get more flavor in the vacuum sealer than just throwing it in your refrigerator for an hour versus putting it in the bag for an hour yes but it's not going to taste like overnight either way that's why I bought this machine. By the way, shout out to Shirley, my admin, and Leanne, because I'm about to read the instructions briefly. <laughs> All right. Push this in there really good. I'm going to turn it to the middle. 
That's vacuum seal. It's in there as all it, all it can be. Okay. All right. So instructions say it should take about two to three minutes to fully vacuum seal. That's not a long time. I guess I'm gonna hit function. All right. Okay, so it's vacuum sealed. And that's what it looks like there. It's full, so that means that I guess it's vacuum sealed. All right, now I'm gonna put it to the lock position. Yeah. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take this out. There we go. And we just go ahead and close that back. Now you're just gonna now again these are just wheels so there's nothing to really attach it's just gonna go on top of there and then the wheels don't make it rotate that's it so the manual did say that the lid the open and close lid needs to be to the right this part so this just needs to be to the right and that's it so now hmm can I mess with the time where I hit function oh yeah defaults at 15 like I said, I'm going to do 30 minutes. I want to give it a fair shot. And that's it. And that noise you hear was the chicken. <laughs> Reminds me of a rotisserie. <laughs> things is getting moved around in here and this was this is 16 wings so I know I could do another 16 in there and it would be no problem so it could fit some good stuff in there good a good amount of meat all right guys we're just about done I wanted to show you what it sounds like when it's finished all right 30 minutes is up now remember guys, this container is not hot. There's no heat going into here. It's just vacuum sealed. I even smelled the sides. I didn't smell any of the peppers or anything. It's just perfectly vacuum sealed. And yeah. Now I'm going to go ahead and release the pressure by getting this to right here. Hear that? Okay. Let's open this up guys. Let me smell. Okay. Yeah. It has a deep, deep pepper smell in there. But that doesn't mean anything because I, I want to taste it to the bone. This is my Ninja Foodie Grill XL, y'all. Link will be in the description for this, guys. It's an air fryer. It's an air fryer grill dehydrates, bakes, all that good stuff. All right, guys, we are going to air crisp this for at 450 for 20 minutes. I'm gonna skip preheating. All right, I'll be back. 10 minutes have passed, guys. I'm gonna give these guys a flip and do another 10 minutes or so. Looking and smelling fantastic, guys. But I'm still not done. Over time. All right, four minutes have passed. I'm ready to try one. Moment of truth, guys. Still a little hot, but that's all right. Let's see. Woo, hot. Yep, I taste it. I taste it. Now I don't taste this, the liquid smoke. Maybe I didn't put enough. But I definitely taste the pepper. And it stings at the end a little bit. But yeah, this thing works. Mmm. Hot. See the smoke? Mm. Well, in celebration of my new marinade machine, I'm going to go into overtime one last time. 
and finish it off with this new red hot stingy honey garlic sauce. I always wanted to try this. And I said in this video, if this marinade machine works, I'm going to finish my wings off this way. What's the score? 10 to 9? Uh, we got a new coach. And, you know, we had no preseason in football, so my Giants are doing the best they can. We're up one point, so that works. Shout out to all my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. Alright guys, you saw the paper towel go up. That means it's time to eat. I also air fried off camera some uh, Nathan's fries. And I put some uh, tiger sauce on that. I'll put a link in the description. It's like a sweet hot sauce. Goes good with fries. Goes good with anything. So, let's have a fry first. And I got some... Um, blue cheese right there you take a bite that is just too good gotta try it again mm. okay mm. that is good come on guys You got it. Mm, 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 mm. You got to try that sauce. It's too good. Mm. I know some of y'all like flat, so let's try it flat. And we're going we're gonna to dip it into the... Blue cheese. You first. You got it? Mmm. This is too good, man. Mmm. Awesome combo, guys. Link will be in the description. And of course, this red hot stinging honey garlic, really good. Nice and sticky too. Definitely try it. Daniel Jones, just do a second interception, y'all. It's gonna be a long night. Back to business. Is this easy to clean, you may ask? I would say pretty easy. I just put this to soak while I was making the chicken, threw some Dawn uh, Platinum in there, uh, dish detergent, let it soak for five minutes, and then I just wiped it away and let it dry. Look, it's clean. This is the cover. Clean. So. Guys. I think this machine is a go. You see me marinate the chicken wings in 30 minutes. I tasted the um, the hot sauce throughout. So it's a go for me. If you're if you're like me that forgets to marinate their meat, too lazy to marinate their meat, um, and so forth. Hey, and for 15 to I guess 45 minutes, you can have your meats tasting as if you marinated all you know overnight and you know what some of you don't have space to marinate a bunch of meats in your refrigerator or freezer or whatever well you don't have to worry about that you just have an extra 30 minutes boom you're done i'll leave a link in the description to this machine because i think it's great i'm definitely going to use it you're going to see it a lot in my videos i'm making something and you'll just see this there and I'll just show it like three seconds of it marinating and then I'll just continue with the video air frying or pressure cooking or whatever I'm doing. Full of flavor. To mention, you know, you could t you take this off and it's easy, it's lightweight and you could just store it away however you can. Under your cabinets or whatever have you. But this is lightweight 
easy to stow away, easy to clean. It's a go. Well, guys, I'm going to sit. This, this is not my plate, but I'm going to sit down and enjoy the rest of my plate and pray that my Giants pull this through. If not, it's all good. I bleed blue. That's my team. So let me wrap this up. But guys, if you have an Instagram, look me up on Instagram, Cooking with Doug. That's all I got. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug.